Hi boys and girls, it's me, Miss Joan here. And as you remember, we've been studying birds and eggs and their nests. And one of the super fun things about birds is that you can look at them from outside your window. So you could be totally safe in your house, hanging there all day in our quarantine, but you can look out the window all the time and see birds. And a way to attract birds to your house is to make a bird feeder. Because birds are hungry, they're always flying around looking for food, and if you put bird food outside for them, they're gonna wanna come over to your house and eat your snacks. So, a couple of different suggestions Mrs. Buck had for making your own bird feeders. One, she said you could get a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll and you could cover it in peanut butter or in margarine or Crisco or any, or frosting, anything to make it stick, and then you can roll it in birdseed and hang it up outside. Um, I don't have that, but what I have, and I thought this would be a really fun way to make a bird feeder and practice counting, is I have some pipe cleaners, or as we call them now, chenille sticks, and I have Cheerios. These are honey nut Cheerios. Um, because I don't have any peanut allergies in my family and I don't think that birds can have any a nut allergies so it's safe for, for them. So I'm going to, if you were in the butterfly class, we did this a lot. We made necklaces out of beads like this. So um, I think it would be fun also to count them. So there's one Cheerio on here. Okay, so let's count together one. two, three, four, five, six, see how fast I can do it, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Also, boys and girls, it's a good way to practice for your hand muscles for writing is when you grip, when you pick up the Cheerio like this, that helps you practice how to hold a pencil or a crayon. So this is also another, how many did I have? Ten? Okay, let's go. Eleven. Oh, these are together, so we'll do twelve and thirteen. Fourteen. These are together. So that's 14 plus two is how much? 14, 15, 16. There you go. Ha! Boys and girls, you can also do addition and subtraction with this. So look, you take one Cheerio and you put one more Cheerio together. And how many Cheerios do you have? Two Cheerios. Two Cheerios plus one Cheerio is how many? Two. Plus one is three. Three Cheerios plus, let's see, two Cheerios. How many Cheerios do we have then? Let's put them together. Three plus two and count them. One, two, three, four, five. Three Cheerios, two Cheerios, five Cheerios. Okay, so we have five Cheerios here. This is getting harder, but you can do it. Five Cheerios plus three Cheerios. Let's see, let's put the five over here and let's move the three over. Five plus three is, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right, five plus three is eight. Boys and girls, you can do all different kinds of numbers like this. You could even do this, the opposite, subtraction. Two Cheerios, take away one Cheerio. How many Cheerios do you have left? Just one. Let's try this. Three Cheerios take away two Cheerios leaves you how many left? One. Boys and girls, you can spend hours and hours and hours doing Cheerio math. And then when you're done with that, you tie it up like this and hang it outside. I think I'm going to hang mine in the tree outside. And then I'm going to watch it every day to see if the little birds come and Eat it. 
Just a little FYI, you know who else might want to eat this, and it's okay, squirrels. Sometimes squirrels like to eat bird food, no problem. We like to feed all the animals, right? A couple of animals, bird animals, that you might see in your backyard. Oops, sorry, sorry I dropped you boys and girls, you're back. Um, I took some videos and um, pictures of birds you might find in your backyard. This red bird, does anyone know what it's called? It's a cardinal. Yeah, they're very pretty. I like cardinals. And, hmm, I think this is a blackbird. And boys and girls, do you see what's in his mouth? It's a worm. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, some birds, not all birds, some birds like to eat worms. And I think you might be able to guess what this bird is because look, he's pecking at the wood. The tree. The tree is wood, right? So that makes him a woodpecker. Let's see. Um, this guy, I see a lot of these. I think that's a robin. And uh, these are morning doves. And a lot of morning doves, they live together with their um, significant other. Uh, so like a mommy and daddy bird or two mommy birds or two daddy birds, whatever. They like to live with somebody and they, they help each other with the nest. They both take turns. I think this is a crow. And I don't know, it might be a finch. It's very cute. Um, we all live in New Jersey. That means we have a lot of birds. So you can find them outside. And this is a bird feeder. And they, see, they're sitting on here and they could like get the birds. The, the bird food in here. Miss Joan has a special bird feeder at her house. I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's hanging on my, on my window. It's on the outside of my window. So when birds come, I can see them. So they just jump up there and it's high up so the, the squirrels can't reach it, just the birds can. So I like to sit here in the morning sometimes in the after, well, pretty much all day long. Now that we're, because we're in our quarantine, I could stay in my house all day long and look for birds, which is what I do. So boys and girls have fun making bird feeders and hanging them outside. Send me pictures and don't forget to try your counting. Bye-bye.